All right, this is um, a standard Emax motor. These are all the components you get with it. And this is how you're, you can assemble it for different configurations. First off, we have uh, the motor. If you need to face mount the motor, then have the shaft come out. You have a collet type adapter that will fit on the front, and you can use it just like that. If you need to mount this on wood as like an X mount, um, this shaft isn't going to do you any good, but what you want to do, you want to take the X mount, place it on the back here, and put the screws in, and I'll put those screws in real quick. They give it to you in this little package here, and they are the they're the little flathead screws with the Phillips driver, and you just align everything so it's going to screw together. Place these down in there, and don't uh, tighten them up till you get all four of them in there. right together here perfectly all right now once you get all four of these in you want to tighten them up and tighten them up cross pattern so tighten this side then tighten that side and top and bottom and you should be good you can use uh, Loctite on there and and uh, make sure they don't come out. I haven't had too much trouble with them coming out. Okay, now we're going to put the prop adapter on, which is this piece, and it mounts right on the front. But there's a piece already on here you need to remove. So what we're going to do, we're going to loosen all these up. These are 1.5 millimeter uh, Allen's to remove the screws and just take all these out they come out really easy shouldn't be an issue with that then what you're going to do you're going to remove this front plate once you get all the screws out the last one we'll leave on there and we can put it right back in take this plate off you can see there's four tapped holes in there you want to remove the nut off of your adapter Okay, then you're going to place this over, align it with the holes. Oops, knocked it off there. But there we go, we're aligning it with the holes. And then make sure it's starting in. And again, don't tighten them up. Just screw all four in. And, uh, and then you're going to tighten them in a cross pattern again. Now you can actually just set these in here and they'll fall down in their respective holes. And we'll just tighten it up. Okay, we got uh, this last one, so I'm going to snug this one up and give it, a, give it a nice snug. It doesn't have to be super duper tight. You don't want to strip it out. Uh, tighten up the cross. And go to the other side and take those up. Okay, that's it. Okay, now you've got the prop adapter on there. You've got an X mount on the back, which you can mount to a plywood firewall. Then you have your prop uh, washers. So you put your prop on next, place this washer on, put your nut on the front. Now on the smaller motors, you can actually take the spinner they give you, they give you a spinner on the collet type adapters, and the spinner will fit on the nut. Uh, so you have a nice spinner for like the swappable packages. And that's it, it's ready to go. That's all there is to the Emacs motors.